Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to paste files from the clipboard into the browser using JavaScript. Okay, so this technique is going to work on any kind of file including images. Now, I'm also going to be showing you how to grab that file and then use it in combination with a regular HTML form to of course upload that file to the server side and in the case of images, I'm going to be showing you how to preview that image using a standard HTML image tag. Okay, so right here we can see we have a fairly straightforward HTML upload form and of course we only have a single input type of file and a single upload button. Okay, so the whole use case of this solution is going to look something like this. So basically, if I was to use the snipping tool and I grab a portion of my screen and then if I hit Control V right here in the browser, I expect uh, the actual file to be inserted into my input type of file right here so I can upload it and also I expect the image to be shown to me right below the file upload form. Okay, so let's actually make this work. So going inside the script tag right here, the first thing to do is going to be to add an event listener. Okay, so down here we can say window dot add event listener we're going to listen for the paste event right inside here so basically um, the paste event is going to fire off whenever the user pastes something into the browser okay so we can grab this event object and then for the time being we can simply just console.log the event object right there so now saving this and then doing my snipping tool and of course grabbing this portion of my screen and then pasting it inside the browser we can see right here we grab the clipboard event object and now right down here we have this clipboard data property which of course contains information about the pasted inform or data should I say and right down here also we have the files property inside here which of course is crucial to our solution. So this files property right here is a file list. Of course it contains a list of files. Now currently the length is zero but it's actually got data inside there we just can't see it. So to actually see the list of files we need to access this property directly. So Let's go back inside here and we can instead log out uh, e dot data, sorry, dot clipboard data and then we can say dot files. So now accessing the files property directly and then saving and then of course pasting right inside here once again we can see now we have the file list which contains our image dot png. So, yeah, so, so right here uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so right here we have of course the file and we can basically do whatever we want with that file. Okay, so this includes of course grabbing it and putting it inside the uh, inside this HTML upload form as well as previewing it, sorry, previewing it uh, in the case of images. Okay, so let's go ahead now and of course do uh, both of those things. Okay, so um, first we need to actually check if the clipboard data contains files. So let's go inside here. We're going to simply just say something like if e.clipboarddata.files.length uh, is greater than zero, then of course we are going to then put those files into the HTML upload form. So we can simply just say uh, const uh, file input is equal to document.query selector, and we can simply just select. Uh, the my file input field just like this. So first I just want to console.log and show you um, the file input. You know what, I might actually make this a console.dir so we can access the individual properties of the HTML element itself. So now saving this and then pasting in the browser we can see right here we have this input type of file of course this one right up here and then we've also got this very important um, files property right inside here and once again it is a file list just like the one we saw inside the clipboard data so this means it's going to be fairly straightforward to of course add that information inside here so if I was to now just do something like this I can just say file input 
dot files and we're going to be reassigning the files property right here with the one used or contained inside the clipboard data so we can say e dot clipboard data dot files right inside here and if i was to save this and then of course paste right inside here we get the image inside the input type of file right up there and now of course i can simply upload that and it's going to work perfectly fine. Of course, in my case right here, I'm using a development server. So of course, it doesn't actually support file uploads. But if you're using PHP or Node.js or whatever you're using, if your web server supports file uploads, then of course, it is going to upload that file for you perfectly fine. Okay, so let's have a look now at how to actually grab that image and then show it to the end user using an image tag. So right down here, we can create a new image image tag right here with an ID of, uh, of our image preview just like this. And we can just make the source nothing just for now and make the alt something like preview, okay? So now, upon saving this, we can then just go right down here and we can make a new function called set preview image. And this right here is going to take through a file just like this. Okay, so now essentially uh, we're going to be assuming right here that this that this input type, sorry, that this file is actually an image file. But of course, you can check for the um, the type of the file, which I'm going to be showing you very shortly. But for now, let's just keep it like this. Now, inside here, we can create a new file reader. Uh, a new file reader object right here so we can make this equal to a new file reader object and essentially this file reader is going to be responsible for reading our file as a base64 data URL and that allows us to then grab that URL and then put it inside the image tag to of course display the actual image so now we can just say file reader uh, dot read as data URL and then we can pass through the file itself which of course we pass through here um, to of course uh, set that preview image and now we can just say right down here file reader dot on load and we can simply call this function and basically this function is going to run whenever uh, the uh, the file has been uh, finished reading and it is now available as a data URL so we can just say, for example, console.log file reader um, dot results, just like this. So now we can check right inside here. Well, firstly, I just want to once again, uh, console.log the actual file. So we can say console.log e.clipboarddata.files once again. I can save this and then, of course, make my snip, then paste it. We can see right here, the actual file contains uh, the type. So basically, you can use this type right here and you can check if it begins with image. So it's going to be fairly straightforward. We can just say right inside here, um, if if the e.clipboarddata.files at index zero, so essentially uh, the, um, the first file inside the file list, if the type of this file starts with right inside here, so starts with then I'll just say image forward slash, just like this. If it starts with image forward slash, then we're going to say set preview image. And then we can pass through here e.clipboarddata.files at index zero. And then I can save this. Then I can once again paste in, paste in my image. And we get right here the data URL, which was read by the actual file reader. And now this data URL is going to slot right into our image tag to, of course, display that image. So now it's going to be as straightforward as just doing uh, this right here, where we can say document.query selector. We're going to select the image preview uh, tag, and we can say dot source is equal to uh, file reader dot results. And now for our final test. We can grab our snip, we can paste right inside here, and now, okay, we get nothing. Let's make this hash image preview and then try again. Let's paste, and we get the previewed image right inside there. Now, of course, you can use CSS to change this, make it look better, whatever you want, but right here, it's gonna work perfectly fine. And that is how to paste in your files from the clipboard into the browser using JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.